Guys, I'm in big trouble. If I go into game settings, you'll see the uh, name has changed from what I actually put it in the last video. So they don't actually like the words thick rat. I don't know why. If I click save here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what, bro? Really? Guys, give me give me some name suggestions. I want to call it something else. Cheese is what I've got it right now. Uh, yeah, it's not the most creative. I know. <laughs> Imagine a game just called cheese. But luckily, guys, the actual um, icon for the game has actually worked. So they actually approved this somehow. I don't know how. Imagine seeing that on the Roblox homepage. <laughs> that would be terrifying. But it's allowed, so... And this is my favorite comment from last video, guys. Silvergold said, make it so that it feels like you're the pet and he comes to you for cheese and you have to get cheese by running on the wheel and going through the maze. And if you don't get cheese, he chases you. That is actually a sick idea. I do really like the idea that you're the pet. That's actually really cool. Guys, keep the ideas coming. I, th I think I'm definitely going to make it something like this where it feels like you're the pet, guys. But yeah. All right, some of these buttons look a bit weird. So I'm going to try and, uh, you know, <laughs> make them look a little better at least. So... And I think I'll move these buttons along as well. So that looks a lot better in my opinion. All right, next let's rig this dude. And I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to have to search up a tutorial on how to rig things. By the way, to quickly say, I'm going to be using Moon Animator to animate. Ooh, Even oh yeah. This a lot of you guys probably won't have Moon Animator. You can you can use the uh, normal animation thing in inside of here as well. But Moon Animator makes it a lot easier. Unfortunately, it's paid. So <laughs> some of you guys won't be able to follow along here. But, um, you, I, I think most of you guys will probably be just using, like, these types of Roblox models anyway. So, you guys don't even need to animate. But if you're using a custom model like me, then I'm going to be using uh, Moon Animators. I'll be using Rig Edit Light. No! <laughs> I can't find it in the plugins. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Is it deleted now? Oh, gosh. Oh, it's one word. That's what I was going to say, bruh. Undo Redo Support. Wait, is that only in the full release? Oh gosh, this is going to be tough. <laughs> Alright, let's just try and use a free version. If not, then I think I might have to go with the Pro. Alright, before we use this crazy looking software, let's create this humanoid root part. Ah, okay. So now we have to make the primary part, the humanoid root part. So where is the primary part? There it is. And that's the humanoid root part now. Interesting. If I click on this, then I click on this. Then apparently if I create a joint. Very, very epic. Let's try the right arm first. Create joint. Ah, it looked like it worked. Um, it did it to the middle of the arm, so I'm not sure if that's going to work, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. So the arms and legs are definitely going to be moving around, so they're obviously going to be like joints. Maybe the maybe the tail can move around as well. Should I make actually everything move, except the teeth? They, they, that wouldn't make any sense. The, the whiskers could be funny as joints, but I don't know if I want to make it too complicated. Uh, the eyes, I'll, I'll keep the eyes in place, and the ears, the ears could be could be animated as well so yeah let's try and animate as much as possible trying to make it as high quality as possible i i know i know that i'm probably not gonna have much time for this but we'll try to do as much as we can anyway oh no i just figured something out guys oh no i've only made the head as one part <laughs> i have to go back into blend and oh gosh it's gonna be tough all right oh no bad news guys i've made it so that the head can't move yeah so i've welded this head into one one solid object actually you know what in a weird way it might be funnier with his mouth constantly open maybe i can work around that actually i don't know mouth closed i don't know how it would actually look like if he had his mouth closed and another problem is i was gonna have the lower jaw move upwards into the upper head and then it would have maybe like uh made the back of the head look very weird because um that's where it ends so it's gonna it probably look a bit weird actually now i'm thinking about it yeah let me go ahead and save it again because i literally just deleted it after i was so upset that i didn't, couldn't make the head move but you know what? We'll, we'll work around it. We'll work around it, guys. I, th I think it'll be better this way anyway. I think it'll be better this way. I'm kind of like... <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to make the ears like joints with the head, but... This, he said to just do everything to the humanoid root part. Hopefully I don't regret this afterwards, but yeah, let's just do the ears like this. All right, Mr. Mouse, you're going to get some animations done for yourself now. Let me just move the head and also move the nose. Oh, this is not going to work, guys. I think I'm gonna have to like make some I'm gonna have to make some changes. I don't think that tutorial was um entirely correct. Maybe maybe because I was doing it a bit differently as well. So I think everything on the face basically has to go, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense, guys. I was thinking from the humanoid root part to have like all these other animations. I did I didn't think it was proper, but yeah, this is this is a lot better, guys. Alright, alright, so now this should definitely work. Alright, let's try this now. Alright, alright, so this, if I turn this. Yay, now everything moves. Okay, cool. Yay, even even Thick Rat's happy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, what does it look like if his body moves? Oh. 
Oh dear. Oh man, never believe a tutorial after all, eh? Yeah, I don't think the humanoid root part should be connected to anything except the body, so... Cool, alright, so now... If I move things in Moon Animator, if I rotate his body, everything else should move? Yeah, this this looks like it, it's a lot better. Bro, look at him animated, bro, this is funny. Let's make an idle animation for him, guys. Alright, alright, Thick Rat, calm down, calm down, sir, calm down. Alright, so that's it looking left. I don't know, it looks a bit slow, guys, I don't know. Maybe it'll look a bit better when it's, like, fully done, but I don't know. Right now, it doesn't look that great, I don't know. Alright, so we, we've done we've done some cool animation so far. It's a very nice animation. Look, he's looking around. He doesn't know where you are. I thought I thought the looking around one was going to be an idle animation, but that's definitely not an... Well, actually, it's kind of an uh, idle animation, actually. But that's more if he's just, like, he's just lost you. He can't find you anymore. So you just hit, like, in a wardrobe and he's looking around. Where the hell did you go? That's more of that sort of animation. Maybe we should just make his run animation for now. He's, he's going to be chasing after you with his arms outstretched. <laughs> I think if he's running, his ears should be like back because he's like running that fast after you. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. All right, right now it doesn't look that great, this running animation, but once I add the other frames, I think it'll look a lot better. Bruh, you see this frame where like this is in between both the left and the right run? I accidentally deleted the middle frame, so I've got to recreate that again, bruh. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? All right, okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, imagine this guy running after you like this. <laughs> No, Thick Rat, no! Let me know in the comments down below what, what looks weird about this. I think it looks fine right now, maybe. Probably, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think it looks fine. Oh gosh, this does not look good, guys. I tried to make a jump scare and... Uh, <laughs> it looks like he's trying to eat someone, which, which I was going for, but still, I don't know. It just doesn't look right. Look at this. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? It might work, it might work. Let me know, chat, let me know. <laughs> Bruh, let, let me bring that dude over here. You know what? The old enemy. Now, nah, Thick Rat, go! Eat him! <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> now I need to transfer this guy's AI into Thick Rat, guys. Before I give him enemy AI, though, guys, I would just want to try something. <laughs> Not doing anything too suspicious here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. I, I am worried. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm Thick Rat, but I can't move now. Why can't I move now? I'm going to be making some new assets as well. So we're not going to be using exactly the same uh, other stuff that uh, Monkey Death has made. But uh, for example, like the key stuff, maybe we could make some cheese or something. Because I, I know that's what Three Stro's game is about, like bringing, a ch bringing cheese to a rat. So maybe we're trying to steal the cheese from the rat instead. That'd be kind of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Give me more of your suggestions in the comments down below. And let me know what else I should add, guys. And I'll see you guys all next time. Hasta la vista.